Well, for 30 years, the Wisconsin Policy Research Institute has been leading the conversation about major issues affecting this region and the state. In celebrating its 30th anniversary, the nonprofit has changed its name. So here from the newly renamed Badger Institute is President Mike Nichols. Now you may remember Mike's column in the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel years ago. Great to see you, Mike. Thanks for having me on, Vince. Uh, let's talk about the name change, Badger Institute. Uh, it was just nobody knew what WPRI was. They didn't. Well, you know, in, in the digital age, you, you know, you Google it and you get uh, a radio station in Providence, Rhode Island, and that's <laughs> right. that's not us, you know. Not what we're Let, looking right, for. right. Unless you want to know everything that's going on in Rhode Island. So, uh, you know, uh, it served us well for many years, but it became outdated. People had a hard time remembering it, and uh, so we just uh, needed to find something that resonated a little more with people, and also wasn't as confining because we still do a lot of policy research, but we do a lot of other stuff as well. Well, there's a magazine. There are various writings on important issues of the day. So, uh, just give us a real quick synopsis of, of what the mission is. Sure. Well, so we are still a think tank, although I don't really, I don't love that. To description. I mean, we get out there and, you know, try to find out what works best in the state. So we do a lot of policy analysis and we do have uh, sort of an underlying belief. We believe in, you know, free markets and uh, individual initiative, uh, educational choice, limited government, efficient government. We think those are the things that, that really work in this state to drive prosperity and, uh, and quality of life. So, um, you know, we, we do policy research, increasingly a lot of investigative journalism to uh, really find policies that we think work and drive us uh, forward. Uh, one of your uh, monikers is that you're a nonpartisan yes. research institute. Um, talk about the challenge of being nonpartisan. Now, there appears to be agreement on that. I mean, if you can get State Senator Lena Taylor and Governor Scott <laughs> Walker to agree on something and yeah. give you both accolades, uh, that, that means you're doing it right. But how, how do you approach that? Sure. Well, I think people, you know, have a fundamental misunderstanding of the term. You know, nonpartisan means we're not really, we're not aligned with a party, mm -hmm. and we're not. Uh, people often describe us as conservative, and, and, and I, guess, I guess we are. We don't shy away from that, but I think there's so much confusion about what that even means. So we try to get past the labels, Vince, and ask people just to look at the research, to look at the journalism that we're doing doing. Uh, we really are nonpartisan. We have to be. We're a 501c3. Legally, we have to be nonpartisan. We don't campaign. We don't advocate on behalf of politicians. Uh, you know, uh, there are certain politicians who are more, I guess, uh, aligned with what with our research and what we believe. But um, but, you know, we don't uh, we don't push people. We push ideas and policies. Uh, only about 30 seconds left, but yeah. real quick, I mean, you write a lot about uh, the future of southeast Wisconsin in particular. We have Foxconn coming. You've written extensively about that. Yes. Look at all the cranes that are downtown, all yep. the development. So what do you see as the future for the region here? What's oh, love, uh, you know, love what's going on downtown. Bright future there. Lots of challenges elsewhere. We're looking at uh, a lot of issues right now that have to do with corrections policy, for instance, mm -hmm. transportation, big issues. Uh, we've got a, a big initiative that we're undertaking on tax reform, so state and local tax issues. We're still a very highly taxed state. We think there can be some fundamental changes there that really drive us forward in terms of growth. So we're optimistic, but lots of challenges, Vince. All right. Well, it's great to see you and catch up with you, Mike. Appreciate all the work. And again, Badger Institute has a wealth of knowledge available online anytime. If you want to check out recent reports, you can just look for the link. We set it up on our website, tmj4.com.